Hello and welcome to episode four of True or Not, where we go to demystify some of the popular topics around productivity and well-being and just overall personal development. And today we're going to be talking about the topic of the whole idea of the 5 a.m. club. So do you really need to be a morning person, right? The, there's so much publications out there talking about, you know, the morning of a millionaire, right? The, the 5 a.m. club, that I think, Robin Sharma, right? So there's so many topics, topics about, but what about those night owls? What about them when nobody's talking about the night owls? So mm. what is the reality? Is it that we are really productive in the morning and that's the best way to lead? Or is it the night owls? So Yvonne, kick us off with a couple of things from your side. Okay. So in fact, what I have discovered is that if you are a morning or night person, it might be dictated by your genes. Your parents might have been already night owls or morning people, and that affects, in fact, if you are going to be one of them. So mm. knowing whether you are an early bird, a night owl, or somewhere in between can help you optimize your productivity throughout the day. Um, the morning is the best time to do analytical or preparation work that requires focus. And whatever is administrative or routine work should be done a little bit later in the, in the day. And the reverse, of course, applies to the, uh, it is true, in fact, to the night owls. Uh, every day, the human pro uh, body produces a chemical messenger in the brain called melatonin. It is a messenger that tells the body when it's time to go to bed. And this same melatonin allows to reconstruct connections for your brain to be fully charged and focused. When we look at, at the benefits that people who are uh, earlier, uh, wake, they wake up early regularly. So what they claim is that uh, it, the benefit, one of the benefits is to increase your productivity. You have uh, the focus to prepare the, uh, the day. Your brain is the, in an optimal mode to create connections and kind of be smarter. You develop also self-discipline. It is a time where very little can disturb your own agenda. You feel more energized. You feel a sense of satisfaction because you get to do the important things first and even before others. You thrive in a distraction-free environment. Everybody is uh, sleeping, so you have the time for, to devote for yourself. Now, this is the good information, but huh, what should we start doing early in the morning if we do that? Mm. And you know, it's interesting because you said people are sleeping, but then on the night owl side, people are also sleeping, right? And, and if we're talking about, you know, some people go to the gym in the morning, you can also go to the gym at nighttime. There's 24-hour gyms that are open, and, or if you have one in your building or in your home even. So it kind of still, you know, has that question in my mind. But so uh, again, there's, of course, there's research that tells us that because of the way our biological clock essentially is set up is that we have that primal time between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. is when we get the, the best sleep. And I'm not a sleep expert, but there are studies that show actually that's the time we should be essentially really sleeping. Um, and if we're not, we're missing on, on really important um, benefits when, that we get in that particular timing. And again, yes, surely we should rise with the sun and, you know, go, uh, go to sleep essentially with the sunset or a little bit later. That seems like how the world is going, right? But as you mentioned, there's also genes um, that play a role. So I think, I, I think it's, it's one of those things that where we really need to look at when are we most productive? When are we at our peak hours? When are we more creative? And that can fall into uh, different categories. For some people, it's in the morning. For some people, it's at nighttime. Some of the things you can do in the morning, for example, and this is for, for, for everybody to decide for their own, is that can you do it in the morning? Can you do it at nighttime? Oops. Does it matter to you? For example, in the morning, you could take a time to just uh, uh, think about what's, what you have coming up that week, that day, etc. Right. So the whole idea of meditation. And I know what you're thinking, Yvonne. I, I, you're thinking that the person sitting on the mountaintop in really comfortable clothes and sitting there meditating. That's not what I mean about meditation. So let's demystify that whole idea, right? The meditation does not mean sitting down, you know, in a, in a yoga pose and meditating. No, meditation can be as simple as just reflecting, taking a moment to think about what you want, <laughs> right? To think about what you have planned for the day, to write down some of those goals. Uh, again, can you do it at nighttime? Perhaps that is for you to decide. And I think as we are, uh, you know, as we're, we're learning about this topic, Yvonne, I think it's just about understanding when do you, again, when do you operate at your best? Mm. And then it's about your well-being and it's about productivity. So if you feel good, if you're getting enough 
sleep, right? That, and you know, you're getting enough sleep, you're being productive, whether in the morning or at night time. I think that is the key to figure out for, for each person. Um, because in fact, like you were mentioning also to me that creative people tend to have struggles with being creative in the morning, first thing mm. in the morning. So yeah. Usually they wait until later in the day. Um, and sometimes we get inspired by that nighttime, right? So there's a whole different mood that goes in, you know, the association, our brains have different associations with nighttime versus morning time. And that depends on the kind of work that you're in and where do you need to be creative? So I think that there's no, uh, from, from what I'm hearing and, uh, and from you as well, is that there's no necessarily right or wrong. It's about finding out when is, does it work best for you? And what are the things that are required for you? So if you have an 8 a.m. job to get to and you're a night owl, it's probably not going to work out very, much, very good for you because you're not getting the proper amount of sleep that you need to function and to be at your best. But if you're on the entrepreneurship side and you have a little bit more flexibility about when you work, when you start and finish your work, then maybe if you sleep at 3, 4 a.m. and wake up at noon, that might work. So mm -hmm. again, I think as long as you're productive and you're, you know, it's not affecting your well-being, uh, this is where the decision is very individual. What do you think? I, I think that the key is just to remember that it is regardless that you are a morning person or a, or a night person is to have a ritual where you block some time where you are the most productive and you apply it to things that matters. You mentioned, for, uh, for instance, the, the, the time for self-reflection. Uh, you mentioned the fact that it is a time to, to plan the day and to understand, to spot the thing that is going to give us the satisfaction of the day, which is something that contributes to your, uh, to your well-being. So, and to have this time blocked for you without any interruptions and that is outside the work time, it is quite uh, important for us. Well, mm. I think this That's is it awesome. for today. <laughs> yeah.